We're back with today. I'm Ben Lung with Xu Jindo with Wednesday's business news. Here's Zhao Yang. Well, thank you, Ben.、Uh, let's check out some of the key events on the corporate front in China this week. And join me on the line is Jeffrey Thompson, a professor of investment at Peking University Guanghua School of Management. So this week,、uh, we see that、uh, internet giant Tencent announced it was buying 15% of Lezhu, the online property、uh, platform. Of E House China Holdings. This is the third、uh, such strategic acquisition announced by Tencent in the past two months. So, Professor Dawson,、uh, what is the rationale for the Lezhu's acquisition, and what is the value for Tencent of、uh, moving into real estate? This is really、um, you know, the third one of these we've seen in, in a matter of weeks by Tencent, and、uh, the strategy seems to be pretty, you know, pretty smart and clear. It's.、Uh, You know, they're accessing Leju's real estate data and then moving that on to their mobile platform. As you know, if everyone's got their phone with WeChat on it, suddenly having real estate data as、mm-hmm. you're going around town makes a lot of sense.、Um, you know, and for eHouse, this is pretty great news. They were planning to take this unit public、um, and have been having a little bit of difficulty with that. So you know, partnering with the giant Tencent, you know, that's the kind of thing that makes、uh, investors very happy. Mm, and in the past months, Tencent also announced a similar-sized investment in e-commerce site Jingdong and in Dianping. And、uh, actually, how do you see these、uh, uh, big steps of,、uh, from Tencent? Right, these deals have all been about fifteen to twenty percent minority acquisitions, and they've typically been in the hundred to two hundred million dollar range. So that, that's not real, you know, large money for something like Tencent. Um, and and it, is, it looks like you know the idea is to get the capability, the technology, not necessarily to get an ROI.、Um, what, what's interesting is at least two of these Jingdong and Leju were both heading towards an IPO at the time Tencent you know stepped in, which is、mm-hmm. really quite clever.、Um, you know it gives them a lot of flexibility on what they can pay, and it probably makes the、uh, you know the acquiree、mm-hmm. uh, you know flexible as well.、Mm-hmm. It's clever, yeah. And uh, also, uh, we got the news that China's four、uh, state-owned banks, the big four, are set to report their uh, 2013 financials. And indications are that、uh, slowing earning growth、uh, will be the main theme for all of them. So,、uh, reportedly, profit growth will be the lowest since the financial crisis in 2008, and the debt problems,、uh, increased competition, the government、uh, reforms are all possible factors. So, uh, Jeff, uh, are earnings、uh, slowing down significantly? The numbers that look like they're going to come out, and they're supposed to come out this week, and this is ICBC, China Construction, Agriculture Bank, Bank of China, the big, the big four. Uh, the report is it's going to be about an 11 percent growth in earnings from last year,、uh, but but that's on a very very big number. That's about 127 billion dollars worth of earnings for all of them put together.、Um, yeah, but that is lower than we've seen in the past. It's lower than it's been in many years.、Uh, ICBC will keep its title as the you know the world's most profitable bank probably.、Um, And you know these banks are still managing at least fifty percent of the household savings of China, so it's、mm. a huge number. But yeah, I mean the number is slowing. Yeah, but、uh, what are the reasons or factors that hitting this uh, uh, earnings? I- I'm coming to think that that the Chinese state banks are really maybe the most interesting story of this year because they seem to be sitting in the eye of a very big storm, or at least a very interesting one.、Uh, I mean they're getting buffeted. From all sides,、uh, you mentioned a couple of them. You have the government, you know, the central bank pulling back on lending, you know, and that traditionally has been done through them. So you're seeing the lowest levels of lending since probably 2005, lending growth.、Uh, you're seeing shadow banking come at them from one side, you know, luring away depositors, which which is competition.、Uh, you're seeing these loan defaults coming up. You know, every couple weeks we're seeing one.、Um, You're seeing private banks being given, you know, these trial five banks have been given private licenses, basically. So you're going to see five private banks move into this space, and then on top of all this, you have groups like Alibaba,、hmm. you know, who are just coming up with surprise after surprise. They come in with their online banking product and scoop up eighty billion dollars in a matter of months. I mean, it's just coming from all sides. It's really amazing to see what's happening in the sector. 
Mm. And final story.、Uh, following on the heels of Alibaba's decision to go public in the USA instead of Hong Kong, Shenhui International, China's largest meat processor, is now going public in Hong Kong. And this is the company that made headlines last year by acquiring Smithfield Foods for almost、uh, five billion U.S. dollars, the largest Chinese acquisition of an American company to date. So,、uh, last question, Professor Thousand, is this? Is a significant change for the Hong Kong exchange, which has been somewhat criticized for losing the Alibaba IPO to New York, or just a nice timing? It's pretty nice timing.、Um, you know, IPO market—it's a lot about bragging rights. Who has the biggest IPO? What's the most famous company? And you know, Alibaba, and, and there's a lot of fees. I mean, these are hundred millions of dollars of fees each one.、Um, so IPO for Alibaba going to the U.S. instead of Hong Kong—that was, you know, a little bit of a, a blow. Uh, so that you know, Shuanghui, which has made a real name for itself,、uh, you know, coming to Hong Kong, that you know, that's really kind of nice news, and, and the fees will be large, which the bankers always like,、um, and, and that's kind of what you'd expect to see more. Shuanghui is a Chinese company; they make their money in China. They're invested by Chinese private equity firms, and they're going public, you know, in Asia. That's more what you would expect to see than this idea of going cross border for these things.、Mm. So, yeah. Well,、uh, thank you. That is Jeffrey Thompson, professor of investment at Peking University Guanghua School of Management.